installed uh, uh, inside the uh, inside the caisson, uh, but so and after we fill the caisson with what with the water, and uh, so we send the sensor at the end of the tubes, and we pull up, uh, pull up, uh, pull the sensor up at each location. Uh, we measure the signals like that between the transducer and receiver. It covers uh, at each uh, uh, elevation the area between two transducers. Uh, so we measure the transmission time, the first drive-wall time. And with basic, uh, very basic uh, physics formula, we calculate uh, the uh, velocity. That velocity uh, can be correspond to the quality of the concrete. Of course, for the velocity over uh, 35 uh, meter per second, the quality of the concrete is good. And in most of the case, and the velocity is less than uh, 35 now uh, 3500 meter per second so that might uh, reflect uh, the cool quality concrete or any other integrity issue so in some uh, uh, standards like the ASTM the normal uh, ASTM recommend to use the very velocity uh, to integrity some European standards recommend to use uh, the signal energy, some other standard like the Asian standard recommend to use uh, a cross uh, analysis of the velocity, both velocity and a signal energy. And uh, uh, based on that, they comment about the uh, integrity issue or any other problem in the past. What is the Application of that is the full purpose of the uh, quality control or quality assurance of the pile uh, to evaluate the consistency and continuity of the uh, pores, uh, caissons, mass concrete foundations, diaphragm walls, abutments, and so for all of them, uh, this technology can be used. Okay, so uh, this image shows a case.